my lovelies. Today you're getting ready with me. I'm doing my makeup and I think I might do my hair. I don't know yet. <laughs> Let's begin with the face. I basically just applied some dry shampoo. I'm gonna take the hair out of my face and let the dry shampoo do its thing while I do my makeup, well, skincare and then makeup. All right, so first thing first, I'm gonna apply some toner. This is the Peach and Lily, the Good Assets Pore Toner. It's a gentle exfoliating and it balances out the pH in your face. I'm just gonna apply some, ah, to my hand and spill it everywhere. And then gently pat into my face. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Glass Skin Refining Serum by Peach and Lily. Just one little squirt. And then just very gently massage onto my skin. Last but not least, I'm gonna take some Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream. This moisturizes and protects your skin. I like that it's really lightweight and actually looks really good under makeup. Are you guys into dermaplaning or basically shaving the peach fuzz off your face? I am really into that, but because I was using the little like eyebrow razors, I don't know, I just felt like it was taking way too much time. And I've ordered this Michael Todd dermaplaning kit from Alta Beauty and it's supposed to come in tomorrow. I'm really excited. And I was thinking maybe do a video on that really quickly. Kind of first impression, see how I like it. It was rated really good. I think it was like $99. It looked really interesting. Now that the face is prepped, I'm gonna go in and do my eyes first, just because I want the moisturizer to set in. So for the eyes, I'm gonna keep it super simple. I'm going to use a Naked 2 Urban Decay Basics Palette. It's a great everyday palette. I really like it. It's nice and simple to use. All right, for the eyebrows, I'm going to start off by prepping a base. You can use soap. I really like that, but this one is just a really simple NYX wax for the brows. Just because my eyebrows, they are really long and they tend to swoop down. So this kind of helps them stay up and be nice and perky, I guess. Who doesn't like their brows perky? <laughs> I'm gonna take a little double-ended brush, eyebrow brush. It has a spoolie on one end, and then it has the angled brush on the other side. And this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is her 7B brush. I just really like it because the angled brush is nice and thin, it's not super fluffy, so you can get really precise with your brows and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in Taupe. Just start defining the bottom. And I take really small strokes, putting most of the color towards the middle and outer, and then bringing whatever is left over towards the front, just because I don't want to look angry with my brows. Or sometimes I do, it depends on the mood. <laughs> if I want a little too crazy on my brow, just take a little bit of concealer, just very gently outline. I use some of the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Vanilla. Or Light 2. I'm gonna gently, quickly brush it out. I'm gonna quickly prep my eyelids using one of my super old, loved, well, this is a new one, but I've loved this for so many years. This is the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, and I'm just using a Real Techniques what is this? A deluxe crease brush to kind of blend it all in. Ugh, I have to really get in there and ruin my nail polish to open it up. I think maybe I got a fluke. All right, so I'm gonna take a nice small little blending brush and take Skimp and Stark and kind of blend them together and I'm just gonna place it all over my lid. Let me get a bigger brush for this. I'm gonna go back to the smaller little blending brush and take more of Stark. Just kind of pack it onto the brush and start working that into the crease. I'm not trying to smoke this out too much. Just give a little bit definition to the crease. In this color Stark, it looks a lot lighter in the palette versus when you put it on your eyes or at least on my skin tone. And I like that it's a very subtle color, but it still adds a lot of definition to the eyes. Andre's telling me how shiny I look with these lights in here. I just told him I look happy and glowy. I'm gonna take a black gel eyeliner, this is by Marc Jacobs in the color Blacker, and I'm going to very quickly and not very messily, but not precisely. Just outline or just 
create a little line towards the outer of my eye. Now bringing it all the way in. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a little angled brush, a very, very tiny angled brush. I'm gonna go in with Undone and Primal. Just kind of get some on the brush and start smoking it out. You wanna work kind of quickly with this because this eyeliner sets rather fast. So you just wanna get in there and start smoking it out. I'm gonna take some of the black liner on the brush. Start creating a more precise wing. And this is where kind of I take my time and really build up that wing, darken it, and then smoke it out, and then just kind of repeat until I get the desired shape. I just keep going back in with the colors, a little bit of undone. It's like a darker gray, and just start keep smoking it out towards the top. And then the lighter shade, primal. I like to bring it towards the inner, kind of smoke it up on the middle of my eye and then bring it towards the inner corner. Not too much. That way it kind of gives like that gradient effect. I'm gonna take some of this Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer just to smooth it right in the center of my face. Just a little bit. I'm just gonna pat that in. And then for my foundation, I'm gonna keep it a little bit lighter today. I'm gonna take the Clinique Even Better Glow Foundation. It's lightweight, it's fragrance free, nice on the skin. And then with my It Cosmetics 132 Airbrush Flawless Complexion Brush. I'm just gonna very gently kind of pack it onto my face. Mm, before I forget, apply a little bit of lip gloss or lip balm. I just love the effect this foundation gives. It's glowy, but not too glowy. And it wears really well. Next, I'm gonna take some concealer. This is by Jouer. This is their Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. It's creaseless, it's soft matte, and it has hyaluronic acid in it. So it's nice and moisturizing under the eyes. And I have it in the shade Custard. And with this concealer, a little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna take a little damp beauty sponge by Real Techniques and just blend it in. I'm trying to focus most of the concealer in the inner corner. And then just whatever is left, blend it out. To set the concealer in the inner corner and then a little bit on my face, I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in number one, Fair. And this powder is so good. It does really like make your skin airbrush looking. And I'm using Real Techniques Setting Brush. Just very gently set in the inner corner and then wherever I apply the concealer. I'm gonna take a bigger brush, Real Techniques. This is their blush brush, but I like to use it as my face brush and just very gently pat on the face. I'm gonna take some of the Hula Light Bronzer with this Japanese brush. I don't know if they sell these anymore. I got these at Ulta. I tried looking the other day and I couldn't find them. So I'm just working little by little, kind of working it on. You know what, let's just finish the eyes. I'm gonna quickly and very gently smoke out the lower lash line. I'm gonna start with Stark using a Makeup Geek Defined Crease brush. I'm gonna smoke it out very gently. I don't want anything too crazy or harsh, just to add a little bit more definition. Let's finish off with a mascara. And I'm using the NARS Climax. I've really, really been enjoying this. And the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. They're both really great. This one I feel like it volumizes, it lengthens, it separates your lashes. It's just an overall really good mascara. And I try to focus most of the mascara towards the outer corners of my eyes to kind of elongate those eyelashes in my eyes. I'm gonna take some of the Hourglass mascara just because the wand is a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna take a tiny bit on the lower lash line. I'm gonna quickly set the brows using the Benefit, what is this? 
the Gimme Brow in shade one. Mmm, such a difference. Because I'm insane, I'm going to use some of the clear brow gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills and also help the brows stick up. Because like I said, I like when my brows are perky. I like when the hairs are going up. Gives a really nice feathery, bushy brow look. And now let's move on to the rest of the face, the cheeks and highlight. I got this palette just today, the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette. <gasps> Look how pretty she is. And I did swatch all of the shades. There are two palettes you can get. This is the number one, number one Daria. And they have a second one for darker skin tones, I believe. You have a glow cream base, a cream blush, duo glow. You have a diamond powder, which this is insane. It's literally, it literally looks like diamonds. And then you have a powder blush and then a glow extreme. So I'm gonna start off with the cream blush. I think I'm gonna use a stippling brush actually. Start off very small and kind of build my way up if I need to. <gasps> That's so pretty. Wow. Wow, that's pretty. My cheeks are very pigmented to begin with, so I like to start off very small and then build up. But look at this color. And it gives such a nice, beautiful sheen to the cheeks. Wow, a little goes a long way. Let's take a little bit of this powder blush also on the same brush. Just kind of top that. That's also really pretty. I'm gonna take this little Real Techniques, what is this, a setting brush, I think? And I'm gonna take a little bit of this cream glow base. Just Pack it onto the tops of my cheeks. Very subtle, because I took very little. I'm kind of working it on. Wow, that's pretty. And it doesn't exaggerate if you have any texture in your skin. Wow, that's really pretty. All right, let's move on to the actual highlight. I'm going to use this, the Glow Extreme, with the Fenty Beauty Highlight 120 brush. It is really good. I'm just gonna really gently pack it on and sweep it onto my cheeks where it tops my cheekbones. Wow, pretty. I actually really like the color too. It's not too golden and it's not too silver. It actually matches my skin tone really nicely. And because I don't have enough highlight, we're gonna take some of this diamond powder. You guys ready? <laughs> that's if you want to blind someone. And wow, that's a lot. Oh my God, I'm literally a diamond right now. What's happening? Okay, a little bit goes a long way with this. I think the best way is just to stamp it on, honestly. I'm going to add a little bit of this Glow Extreme highlight to my inner corners. Wow, that's so pretty. <gasps> I like this so much. Then a little bit to the brow bone. That's so pretty. All right, for my lips, I've been really loving these Buxom Pillow Talk Creamy Pumping Lip Powder. They definitely don't plump my lips whatsoever, but I really like the colors. I'm gonna take the cuddle, and I'm gonna take the color Cuddle Me. I applied a little bit more on the lip gloss and just apply it to my lips. I like using it in conjunction to a lip gloss because it is a little bit drying. Last but not least, there's one more step. I'm gonna set my face and melt all these powders together because I did go back in and set my face a little bit more right here and right here, just very gently. Mm, I just love that step for some reason. Now that the makeup is done, I'm gonna brush out my hair with the dry shampoo. All right, so for this, I wanna add a little bit of body and shape to my hair more of a bend, not a curl. And it's not gonna be that much of a wave just because I'm gonna be using a really large barrel. I'm just gonna split my hair right down the middle using my T3. I don't know, I think this is a two inch, no idea. I'm gonna take the first one and curl it away from my face. Five, four, three, two, one. 
just gonna drag it down very gently. Nice. So see, it's creating more of like a bend to the hair rather than a curl. With this one, I'm gonna take the hair towards my face. Basically going to alternate my curls. So as you can see, it just gives a nice little bend to the hair. Gives a little bit more volume, just a little bit more shape and body to my hair that was flat and lifeless. <laughs> debating if I should just leave it down or actually do something to my hair. I decided I'm gonna do a hairstyle. <laughs> something super simple, I kinda want the hair out of my face. I'm just gonna start off with bringing some of the hair back with my hands. I'm just gonna pick it up. All right, so basically I'm gonna create three little knots towards the back with my hair. Take a mini bobby pin, a couple of them, and then secure underneath. All right, you can keep it like this, kind of like a half updo. But I'm gonna do maybe two, maybe one more. I don't know, we'll see what I feel like. <laughs> so basically, you just take hair, and instead of taking a ponytail, you just take the hair. I kind of do a little swirl on it and then wrap the hair around my finger and then bring the hair through the hole. Literally like a knot. Just gonna take some of these hairs out. All right, there we go. Very simple, very easy, perfect for those third, fourth, fifth day hair where you have a lot of dry shampoo. So basically your hair will just hold on its own with a little bit of help from bobby pins. What do you guys think of this look? Don't know if you care about my outfit, but I'm wearing this super simple turtleneck from ASOS. A ribbed black and white turtleneck and then i have these black levi jeans on they're very comfortable i love them <laughs> i apologize for that that was disturbing all right you guys so that completes my get ready with me i hope you guys enjoyed this some makeup some hair very simple hair <laughs> let me know what you guys thought thank you all for your support for your love i love you all very much and i'll see you in the next video bye